Hello ladies. Um, so today is cycle day three. It is Tuesday and today is my um, acupuncture appointment. So I'm about to head and drive an hour to um, Richmond, Virginia um, to go do that. Um, I have all my charts and all my blood work and everything ready um, for the acupuncturist to see. Um, so, I don't know what happened this morning. I, um, I had some people ask about the fertility test from uh, First Response and I had my camera, my big camera, not my, uh, my phone um, because I wanted to make sure that it would focus really well. So um, I took video of it this morning and um, for some reason I tried to, I took out the SD card and it wasn't on there. Um, so yeah, that was sort of upsetting. Um, okay, so the, the test is supposed to test your F it, F, FSH levels um, on cycle day three and it it was almost a positive um, meaning that I had elevated levels um, what it has two lines on it sort of like the OPKs do um, and the control line is dark and then on this one you do not want that test line to be just as dark or darker than the control line on mine, it is very, very close to being just as dark. I want to say it's maybe a tad bit lighter. Um, I'll post a picture on here so you can see. Well, I called my doctor this morning uh, to see if maybe he could uh, put in some blood work for me to go get that done since it is cycle day three and I've done some reading and I've uh, gone online and you know, gone on different chats that say that you want to do um, blood work on on day on cycle day three, because the blood work I have is from uh, cycle day sixty five. So, um, you know, and my FH FSH I don't know why I can't say that those levels. Um, the doctor said that they were fine, but like I said, um, that that was day sixty five. And that's when I was living in Savannah. Um, now I'm at a new doctor. So, you know, maybe he didn't know that or whatever. Um, and plus, I'm, I'm seeing an OBGYN. I'm not seeing an RE. Um, they, I don't know how... The Army does things a different way, I guess. Um, I can't just uh, call up an RE's office. I have to get a referral for everything that's not done on post or on base um, at a military hospital. I cannot just call a doctor up and say, do you take TRICARE? I have to have a referral or else my insurance will not take care of it. So um, when I lived in Savannah, I had a referral for an RE. Um, like I said before, um, I moved before I could get to that appointment. So we got here and I asked for a referral to an RE and they referred me to an OBGYN instead. Um, on the third would be uh, the day that I got my IUD out, um, the 3rd of December uh, last year. So that means that we would have been trying for a whole year um, to conceive and you know, no success yet, and I still don't have a diagnosis either. So, right now, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Hopefully, um, next week the HSG will, um, you know, shed some light on, you know, what's going on. Um, if it comes out clear and I don't have block tubes, that's great. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, so what could be the problem? You know, it still leaves all these questions open. Um, so, yeah. But now I'm on my way. I have to get going. Um, wish me luck. And I will finish this um, video after I get out of the appointment.
All right, I'll see you later. All right, so I'm back. Um, I just had my first acupuncture appointment. Um, needless to say, it was very interesting. Um, my appointment was at 11 o'clock, and I got there maybe five, ten minutes before time. Just, um, it's in a part of the city that I don't know, so, it, and it was raining, so it was sort of difficult to get there. Um, but yeah, once I found it, um, I went in, and she came out, and she met me, and, um, I gave her, I have my thing <laughs> of, <laughs> of all my charts and all the information. She's like, wow, you're thorough. And I was like, well, yeah, you told me to bring whatever. And I did. <laughs> and I also had all the papers ready for new patients to, um, fill out. I already had all that filled out, um, because she had them online. So why not, you know, anything to get in there faster. So she gave me one more piece of paper to sign, to read over and sign. Um, and it was more, um, it talked about the different methods of acupuncture that they use. And then on the other side, it was like a malpractice thing. Um, you know, I guess if you tried to sue them. Um, so I signed those and then I waited maybe 10, 15 minutes. And, um, I think she had one other patient that she was look that she was helping, um, and I believe she was looking through all my paperwork as well. So, um, probably around, my appointment was at 11, so I was texting at the time. So 11.15, that's when she came out and took me to the back. And she talked to me and she asked me a whole bunch of questions. And we talked for maybe 45, 50 minutes, if not almost an hour. And, um, that was really cool because... You know, I've been to my OBGYN, um, I've had two, maybe three appointments with him, and that's, you know, an hour of talking was with the acupuncturist was way much longer than I've ever talked to my OB. Um, he's always seems like he's, you know, in and then out, you know, just straight, you know, blah, 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 this is what we're going to do, you know, um, you have any questions, and usually I don't know what to ask or I might ask a question or two and that's it you know I leave 15 minutes at the most so having that much time with her you know and her talking to me it wasn't just a one-way conversation where I was telling her all my history she was telling me all this stuff and she was telling me um she was looking at my charts and telling me what uh you know what things look like and you know uh she explained some things to me um, with my chart and with what I'm taking. Um, so she, it was really cool, you know. She had a lot of a lot of information for me, and I did. I really, really, really liked her. She was pretty nice. Um, and I was thinking already. I was like, oh man, I've been in here forever, and you know, I don't think I'm gonna get acupuncture done today I was like maybe this is just the initial appointment and then after next thing I know she's like all right well let me get you up on the table and I was like oh okay I guess I am doing my appointment then so I uh I laid down on the table for you ladies that have not done acupuncture before I'll just tell you the process she laid me down on the table and um she said that our main goal for right now is to sort of just regulate my um, my cycles because I you know as you know I don't have a regular cycle so that's like her main starter goal and she said that could take a few months which you know I was thinking it was gonna end up doing but whatever um, I laid down on the table and she checked my blood pressure and of course I'm nervous I don't know what's going on and you know needles are about to get put in me so she, um, she checked my blood pressure. Of course, it was a little elevated. And she also, like, used her fingers, and she was checking my pulse. And she was like, okay, well, um, she's like, 
she told me, asked me if I eat a lot of raw foods or cold foods. And I told her I started incorporating more fruit into my diet. And, you know, I, I love carrots as well. And she wants me to lay off of those a little bit. And, um, and then she switched to my other wrist and checked my pulse on that side. And she was like, okay. Um, then she looked at my tongue and she's like, okay, so you do have a lot of stress. You just don't let it all out. And I'm like, well... I guess, yeah, that's true. You know, I try not to... I try not to be a stressful person. And I don't always let it all out. And I do tend to bottle things up a little bit. Because, I don't know. <laughs> I just... I don't know. But, um... After that, she... To try to calm me down, she put a needle, like, right here in my head. And then I closed my eyes and because she was doing this, so she put one right there. It just felt weird. I I didn't feel a pen prick. Like she hits the needle and you feel that, but you don't actually feel the needle. You just feel pressure and just weird. Um and she left me in there for a little while. She came back a few minutes later. She wanted me to concentrate on my breathing. And, um, she came back in, then she put more needles in. Um, I'm from Texas, I wear jeans. And, um, so she had to roll up my jeans, and she asked if next time I can wear some sweats. <laughs> Which, I'll, I'll have to, I'll do it, <laughs> but I don't like going out in sweats, because, you know, unless I'm going to go walking, it's just, I don't know, I'd rather wear jeans. Um... So she rolled on my jeans, and she um, put one on the inner parts of my um, of my knee. Oh, let me show you. Here's my knee, and she put one right here, so like inner thigh, so right here, and then the same place on the other knee. Um, she put one right below my belly button. Um, she put one next to each one of my ankles, and then, um, here's my palm, she put one right in between, you know, your thumb and your index fingers, fingers on each side, and then in between my first toe, my big toe, and then my, the toe next to it, I don't know what those are called. <laughs> she put one on top right there. Um, when she put it on the top one, on the one on the left, oh my gosh, it was so weird. Like, my, you know how you have reflexes? Um, I sort of had this really weird reflex where my big toe said, whoop. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. <laughs> She's like, did it hurt? And I was like, no. I was like, it just felt weird. And she would put it in and she would say, you know, um, tell me when you feel pressure. And like, I would... Before she even said that, I was feeling the pressure. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, so it wasn't like a suggestive thing. It was actually something I was feeling before she said something. Weird. Uh, I honestly, I've never done acupuncture. And I wasn't sure what was going to happen. <laughs> so that was interesting. Um, so yeah, she left me in the room for about 45 minutes total. Um, she did go in there one other time, and she just adjusted each one of the needles a little bit more. Um, and then she came back in at the end. She took out all the needles and told me, you know, to meet her in the other room. And um, so I put my shoes back on, and I went to the other room, and she gave me some herbs to drink. And she gave me a piece of paper with the goals that we're trying to achieve, things that I might feel after the acupuncture, um, things she wants me to work on as far as my diet and, um, fitness goes. Um, so, you know, nothing new there. You know, I need to lose weight. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> so, um, she was really nice about it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I, I I'm really glad I went. Um, I still feel the pressure, especially on right here. I still feel the pressure. Um, it was really weird because I actually lifted one of my hands. I was like, oh my god, there's really a needle in there. 
And then I, um, I have a really bad habit of cracking my big toes. And I cracked my, while the needle was in, I cracked my right one. And oh my god, I felt this horrible, horrible pain on my Achilles tendon. And it sort of like burned up into like where my calf was and it stopped. But oh my god, that was so weird. Because it's like, I've never had that happen. <laughs> I was like, oh, crap, I'm not going to move anymore. So I just laid there and I just tried to relax and... Since I did wake up early in the morning, Jose was being extra loud going to PT. Um, I actually got some sleep, and that was great. And now I feel relaxed, and I'm going to um, eat some food and go home and go chill with my dogs and post this. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my experience for today. Um, next week, HSG. Um, so, we'll see what happens. Um, I hope you ladies have a wonderful day, and yeah, I will see y'all next time. Bye.